Let's look at non-video input sources in ProPresenter 7 today on My Favorite Things. In a previous video, we looked at how to use the Mevo Start or the Mevo Plus as a camera input in ProPresenter 7. Today, I would like to explore other input sources. With the combination of ProPresenter 7 and NewTek's NDI tools, you have a vast array of options to bring in other sources into your media presentation or your live stream. ProPresenter 7 is a streaming option without a hardware switcher. It's a streaming option that will let us bring in desktops and mobile devices as inputs. And we're going to get to looking at a desktop, a desktop on a mobile device. I guess you'd call that a home screen. But first, let's start on making sure we remember how to get those inputs even going. Now, I have two inputs already plugged in in my ProPresenter 7 that I'm using today the camera that we're talking to now, but also I have a, another shot here looking across, looking across the, the screen, screen of my, of my back book. I'm going to remind you that the video configuration place on a Mac, you go to ProPresenter, then to Preferences. That menu will cascade and go to Inputs. You can also go to the bottom and go to this Input Tray. It's an input tray for foregrounds, for backgrounds, and for your playlist and for your video inputs. It changes according to what you have selected here. I'll click on the plus and you can see that I can get to the video configuration part of the preferences, the settings, just by going there as well. In the tray I already have my two inputs, the cameras we looked at in the previous video. Video input configuration. Now you can see the screen as I work on it. I'm going to bring that screen in a moment so that we can we don't have to look at it across it as a camera shot, and I'll show you how to do that. I can choose the add input in the video section on the left. And because I have Nutex NDI Scan Converter, I can bring in a desktop environment in ProPresenter 7. So on my MacBook, I have a scan converter running. I'm going to choose that option. On that iMac, this MacBook and our cameras are all on the same network. That's key. If they're on the same network, they'll find each other. If I choose that, you'll see in this pop-up window, we'll see the desktop of the iMac show up here in our preview pane. I'll go ahead and do a quick snapshot so that we can recognize it just by a glance. And then I can add input three, that iMac, as another of my inputs. Let's go over to it and I'll show you a couple of things. I have ProPresenter's website pulled up. That is renewedvision.com slash ProPresenter. Of course, it's going to have all the information. It's trying to sell you a product. But I did want you to see the requirements for this piece of software. Those requirements uh, include Mac OS or Windows. But the thing that I wanted you to see is here. This line says, please download and try ProPresenter free of charge to test the performance prior to purchasing. What an incredible business model that turns out to be. Take our software. It's going to be fully featured with a couple of caveats. There's a, there's a message here or there that shows you, reminds you it's a demo. A darkening of a stream, if you try to stream with it every so many seconds, it's going to darken out that stream quite a bit. Uh, it, it, it is, though, fully featured, and it's a download that you can try before you make the purchase. Now, we'll talk about purchase price toward the end of the video, but that's just a great business model as far as I'm concerned. While we're looking at that desktop, let's go ahead and look at the NDI tools suite that we need. Now, this website is ndi.tv.tools, 
And what it's going to offer us is another download that has these pieces, NDI Studio Monitor, NDI Scan Converter, the virtual input. They have a VLC plug-in. There are some mobile apps. We'll get to that in just a little bit. I'll, I'll be able to show you how to pull in your mobile device, home screen, or camera uh, to be an input for your stream and ProPresenter as well. But the NDI tools, it's a down, you, when you download it, you download all of it. Let me go ahead and click on that so you can see. NDI tools for Mac. Now the studio monitor on Windows is the same as video monitor for the Mac. Why they chose to name those different, I do not know. But you can see you get the tools that you need to do all the things that NDI allows us to do in this... Uh, in this pro presenter setting so so far i've set up my cameras and i've set up the the desktop environment on the imac that's next to me here on the desk i was going to go ahead and set up the desktop environment for this macbook as well so i'm going to go back into let me show you where I am here from the camera's point of view all right you can see my mouse there I'm going back into the video input configuration and I'm going to choose to add another input this time the video source is going to be my MacBook and I want to choose the scan converter for the MacBook as well so I'm going to choose that, and you can see that it's pulled up my desktop environment. Now, when I go down here and click on Scan Converter, then I have the choice as to what I'm actually pulling in. Do I want to pull in another window, the desktop environment itself, or ProPresenter, the window that is open now? And I'm going to choose to pull in ProPresenter as that environment. So now you'll be able to see what I work on when I go to, excuse me, when I go to that input. Let me get that camera back where it was. My apologies. So that's going to be input four, and I'm going to go ahead and title that one MacBook. We'll close that window. I will bring it into my video input tray, and now we see that it's a choice. Oh, I forgot to do the snapshot while I was there. It's going to be the desktop environment for the window that's open with ProPresenter. So I'm going to leave it as that snapshot. Now I can see, okay, if I want to go back to ProPresenter as I'm presenting, I can go back to ProPresenter, and now you have access to what I'm doing on the desktop. ProPresenter is a great tool for uh, media presentation in a lot of different settings. It's, it's a great tool for the church setting, and that's probably why it was uh, originally intended. But it's also a great tool for the school setting, government setting, for uh, businesses that do conferences, they do trainings for their people. It's going to be a great tool for that as well. Now, when we look at the features of Pro Presenter 7, one of the best things that we can do is familiarize ourselves with all those features and the ability to download a free version of it, a fully featured free demo of it, is a great tool. For example, I have a couple of folks on my media team that are needing to learn Pro Presenter 7 so we can make the switch from 6 to 7. And they can download this on their own computer or their work computer if they have access to that. And they can practice what it's like to build, all, build out all the different pieces uh, in ProPresenter 7. Any changes that have been made from, from the last uh, ProPresenter 6 to the upgrade for ProPresenter 7. They can, they can go through and they can practice the different pieces and find where the different, uh, different features are that might be a little bit uh, different from what 6 was. And, and the ability to download there is a great, incredible resource. And, and I'm excited to, to have that. Now, I, I want to now show you what it's like to bring in a mobile device. So I'm going to go back to this camera shot because I can pull my iPhone up in front of it so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now I want to use this. Well, we can start with the, uh, the camera on this one. So I'm going to go to a tool called NDI HX Camera. I'm going to open that up. Oh, I need to make sure that this is... 
excuse me, I got ahead of myself, make sure this is on the correct network, and it is. So I'm going to open up that NDI HX camera. That's an app in the App Store. Now, it does cost. For a while, they were giving it away, but it's a, it's a paid app now. There are a couple of other apps in the App Store that will do the same thing that have in-app purchases, but it's an initial free download. So you can see that I have that pulled up, and it's, it's actually showing what my camera is trained at, right? So let me go into ProPresenter, and let's add that. Okay, I'm going to go into input, uh, video input configuration again, and I'm going to add another video in, another input, and technically it is a video input, I suppose, and I'm going to choose iPhone. You can see that since I'm on the same network, it has found another available, another option to be an input, NDI HX camera. I will title that iPhone right quick like. We'll close it there and add it in the inputs. Now I have a fifth input. This one is the iPhone. Choose if I choose one, that one, you're going to be, able, gonna to be able to see whatever it, whatever is, it is I, I point, this, point camera. this camera at. A mobile roaming and roving camera, so to speak, where you can just use your iPhone camera in ProPresenter 7. That's a great addition to what you might do when you're hosting a conference or doing some training and want to get feedback from the groups in your training. We do a Pinewood Derby every year. Our kids work really hard in the spring of the year and they get to do a race, a Pinewood Derby race, just before school is out every year. We love to set up the big track four lanes across. We love to set up the big track in our fellowship hall and to put a camera at the starting line and to put a camera at the finish line, both that are static and, and show the start for the cars and show the, the, the cars coming toward the finish line and be able to, to have those two inputs into something like ProPresenter 7, but then to be able to take and, and, and have someone's mobile device and add it in as an input so that they can kind of rove around during the races or in between the races and get the reaction from the kids that are racing and, and, and have all that blasted up on the big screen that's in the fellowship hall. That to me is, is a great use, a fun use of, of what all this might be if, you're, uh, if your organization has invested in ProPresenter 7. Now the last way I wanted to show an input and I'll bring I'll bring the camera view back one more time, is to bring in the, uh, the desktop environment or the home screen environment in a, in a mobile device. So let's go back to video input configuration. Let's add one more input. Now, all of these are on my network, and so we're, we're, we're shuffling a lot of traffic across this network. But I do want you to know that the router I'm using is actually the internet company's default router. We've turned the wireless on on the modem that they installed here and I'm just using that one. It's it's about 15 feet away from me and and, and it's handling it fairly well. I suppose I'll I'll, I'll get to look later um, and of course I'm recording. I'm not streaming at this point so uh, if I were streaming it might might struggle a little bit more but but so far so good right. Uh, so let's put in the input 6 that we're going to choose for that to be my iPad and the display on it. Okay, so you see my iPad display pop up. I'm going to title that iPad. We're going to take a quick snapshot of that one because it's going to be the iPad no matter what. And then we will choose to add it, input 6, into my tray here for video inputs. Now if I choose to show you that, if there was something on a mobile device, if there's something on my iPad that I wanted folks to see, so I could go to say my photos and want to show you, well there's a picture of my mug, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but if I wanted to show you a, a video that was on here that it didn't have anywhere else and I wanted to show that to the screen for everyone to see, I might be able to pull that in. That looks like me sometimes trying to figure out what I'm going to preach on Sundays. Uh, come on, just get in my head, right? <laughs> so there's a technically a desktop environment on a mobile device. You can show whatever is on your mobile device screen through
another app called NDI HX Capture. Now we showed NDI HX Camera on the iPhone and I have NDI HX Capture on the iPad. Again, another downloadable app. That one is also a paid app uh, that you may be able to find uh, another app that is that is featured but does not uh, does not have an initial cost in the app store. That'll be just be up for you to look and find. The last part that I wanted to to visit with you about with ProPresenter 7 and non-camera inputs is actually the cost of ProPresenter 7. So let me switch back over to the iMac screen and let's go into their cost page. So you can see that whether you are in a business or school, whether you are in a house of worship, their starting price is $399. Now it says here $275 for upgrades. So those folks who have ProPresenter 6, they've been asking me, Jason, can I, can I stream through ProPresenter 6 like you can through 7? No, they, they unlocked that in, in 7.1, I think, as a matter of fact. Um, but it's only 275 to upgrade from 6 to 7 instead of the full purchase price of 399 to buy it outright. But you see the other options on this page that are to me very encouraging. The free option that will allow us to download it, to try it, um, it'll have a watermark. It'll have a reminder that this is an open registration, a demo, so to speak. You'll have uh, uh, the darkening effect if you try to stream with it. It does say here that you can request a two-week trial code to get a fully featured for no cost. But they also have this option over here on the right. Now, this one is interesting to me. Say you have a, a couple of things you're going to try to present for your company at a yearly conference. And that's really the only time you would use this many inputs in one setting. They have a rental, 30 days, full use, no watermark, no demo, $99. That's a good another option. ProPresenter 7 has turned out to be a very valuable resource. I am excited to be able to have it here. We use presentation software we, for our worship services every week. And I have experience with Easy Worship, and I have experience with MediaShout, and I believe that ProPresenter is the top of its class. That's why we choose to use it here. Hopefully, uh, you can find a use for it for your organization as well, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, it would make my day if you would. Mash that like button because, well, because if you do, it gets shown to a whole lot more folks. And thanks for enjoying uh, this stream today.